questions to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Speaker, today the halls of Queen's Park are filled with the most accessible health care provider in Ontario, our pharmacists. Here, here. Unfortunately, these health care professionals have been an easy target for cuts from this government for the past 12 years, and October 1st is no exception. With your cut in nursing positions throughout the province, your $235 million cut to doctors, pharmacists will see a $150 million cut to their profession. Wow. However, due to the accessibility of the pharmacists, the government should be utilizing the abilities of the pharmacists to derive immediate cost savings in the health care system, such as implementing expanded ejection authority, expanding smoking cessation programs, and enabling pharmacists to treat minor common ailments. Yeah, yeah. Minister, why do you ignore the expanded scope of practice Question for pharmacists? <laughs> Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I know my critic is new at the job, but I would have hoped, given his background, he would know that we have dramatically expanded the scope of practice for our pharmacists across this province, as we should. And very shortly, later in the next month, in October, our pharmacists are going to join us in vaccinating probably, I anticipate, upwards of one million Ontarians against flu by administering the flu vaccine in our pharmacies. It's a wonderful example of increasing scope of practice, yeah, but also utilizing our pharmacists to the fullest extent. These are individuals that have such great capacity and are such an integral part of our health care system. We're constantly looking for ways that we can take advantage of their expertise, take advantage of their presence in our communities, and take advantage of the fact that they have the trust of our communities and the people that live there to make sure that we provide that quality health service. Yeah. Thank you. Speaker, speaker uh, back to the Minister of Health. Minister, I've been a pharmacist for 20 years and have been proud of my profession. Here, here. Uh, Mr. Speaker, to just exemplify that pharmacists can only do flu shots is absolutely ridiculous. If you listen to my first question, it's an expansion of vaccinations across the board. However, hopefully you can listen to my supplemental and come up with a better response to the pharmacists that are here today. Your government seems to have money to pay out bonuses for Pan Am games. Yep. And according to the Auditor General, have money to create large bureaucracies in the health care systems. Yep. However, you're continuing to cut frontline health services to the detriment of Ontario's. Pharmacists have proven to create immediate savings in health care system while increasing services. Yeah, yeah. Other provinces have implemented expanded injection authority for pharmacists, expanding smoking cessation programs, and other provinces have enabled pharmacists to treat minor common Restraint. ailments, all of which would create immediate savings in the health care system. Minister, why are you so Order. focused on paying the salaries and bonuses of health care bureaucracy you. while you wage a war with... Thank you. Minister of Health. Well, oh, Mr. Speaker, and to the member opposite, I didn't raise the issue of expanded access to further injectable vaccines because, quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, I wanted to leave the best for last. So I announced a number of months ago, in fact, it was in our budget that we are expanding the scope of our pharmacists even further to be able to enable them to provide travel vaccinations, potentially other vaccinations as well. So you voted against that budget, but it was there in black and white. I made the announcement a number of months ago as well. Excuse me. Minister of Natural Resources. Member from Halliburton. Thank you. Finish, please. So I would just invite the member opposite to come to the reception tonight, hear from pharmacists and from the OPA how much they are celebrating the fact that we're increasing the scope. We've created a table to look at further injectables, and we are we are moving forward in a way that I think if you actually talk to pharmacists, they'll agree with you. Thank you, Speaker. My question.